James Held at Eiffel TV in association for MTK Global. I'm in the Manchester MME Arena today. With me, I've got none other than Mark Heffron after his second round KO victory. Firstly, congratulations on the win. Mark, talk, talk me through the fight a little bit. Yeah, um, it was a, a good performance. Um, I just started getting into it. And uh, obviously, in the second round, I clipped him on the top of the head and he went. Yeah, but uh, it was a good experience to be fighting on Frank, um, Frank Warren now. I'm enjoying it and um, kind of looking forward to the future. Fantastic support from you here in Oldham. It must be nice, look, knowing you're on early, but your fans still turn out in droves to come and make sure they're heard. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quality to be fighting in front of all my fans um, because I've boxed all over the world. Like, yeah, it's, it's mint to be back in front of my fans now and I'm enjoying it, yeah. With the Box Nation BT Sport link up, do you think within the next sort of 12 to 18 months we're seeing you coming to the forefront and getting on the, the big TV end of these cards? Yeah, definitely. I, I, want, I want the titles now, middleweight or super middleweight. I, I mean, I, I can do both weights, but I definitely want titles now. Mention, obviously, now you're moving to 15 and 0. Would, would the English title sort of interest you? Is that the sort of level you want to test yourself at at this present moment? Yeah, definitely. Um, Lee Markham's fighting for the English title. I, I think Lee Markham's fighting for it next. Anyway, if he gets through that, then um, I'm going to that fight next. I, I, know, I know that I'm next in line for the English. How quickly would you take that fight with Lee Markham if it, if it was offered to you? Take the fight tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? 100% I take the fight tomorrow. I'm, I'm basically I'm ready for anyone now. I'm getting all the round. I might not be getting the rounds in the ring there, but I'm getting the, the rounds inspiring. So I'm going round inspiring good people down at Ricky Atten's gym and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm getting the rounds in. And uh, today it actually felt like I was, it was a, a sparring there. I enjoyed it. Like you know what I mean, I'm relaxing now, getting used to it. As we said, you moved to 15 and 0. How do you think you've developed as a fighter in the last sort of six to eight months? Yeah, I'm um, developing good. Like I've, I've never, I've had a, like a stop-start career. Um, but now I'm getting used to it, like, yeah, I'm getting used to the nerves. But I used to suffer with nerves a lot, but I'm getting used to it now. Having watched, having watched brother Ronnie in action and seen the way he's done things, does that, do you find that helpful, having experienced sort of the, the big domestic stage, so to speak? Yeah, definitely. I've, um, I used to love going watching Ronnie box, and hopefully Ronnie will be back in the ring soon. He's ticking over in the gym now, but, yeah, like, obviously, like, Ronnie, like, Ronnie's, Ronnie's been in my predicament. Like, I'm in now, and I'm running, I speak to Ronnie about it, and he, he makes me feel better as well. Great to see him back in the ring. I've seen some of his Instagram posts. He's certainly shifting a bit of the weight, so that's a good sign for, for boxing again. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. He's just, um, I think it's just money issues now, do you know what I mean? Like, he's got to pay his rent on his house and that, but everything's going good for him now, so he'll be back in soon, definitely. It'll be good to see him get back with Frank Warren as well. Have you got any full time sponsors behind you at the moment? Is there anyone now you sort of get into that level that people have come on board to help you facilitate your training and stuff? Yeah, um, I've got um, a good sponsor in uh, Adam Roach, um, ARD Construction. Uh, he's helping me out a lot now. And um, Stanley Jacks, they're helping me out. And um, Twins here, they're helping me out as well. And um, I've got a sponsor from a physio as well in um, at Radiant, uh, John Edmondson. They're helping me out as well. Yeah, everything's going perfect for me now, do you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've, like, so I, everything's always gone bad for me in the past, you know what I mean? But now everything seems to be going good and I'm enjoying boxing now. Two years ago, mate, I hated the sport, do you know what I mean? Because nothing was going right for me, but now I'm loving it. It's interesting how things can change in 24 months. I've seen, now you seem a lot happier. As you said, everything seems to be opening up for you, the opportunities and that. So, bodes well for the future for Mark Heffron. Yeah. Um, the titles, or, or, I want to be a world champion one day, do you know what I mean? Um, Miguel Cotto, Ricky Atten. I'd love to do a, a little bit of what they've done there. They're my two idols. And um, Tony Bellew as well, he's, he's probably one of my best fighters at the minute. I love, I love him. He, he's, he's amazing the way he fights and the top man. I think we'll see Tony Bellew, David Hay too, in your opinion? Do you think that fight will get made? Pardon? I think we'll see Tony Bellew, David Hay too, in your opinion? Do you think it'll get made? There's only one winner if, if it does happen again. Tony Bellew's got a big heart. Do you know what I mean? If you can't knock Bellew out, you know what I mean? You're not going to win. Bellew's a beast. What did you think of the first fight? What was your sort of overall assessment after the fight? Philip? With Bellew and Hare? Um, I don't know. I, I, I knew that. I knew Bellew wasn't going to knock him out. Do you know what I mean? Like, them two fights, what he had. I mean, not Bellew, Hare. I knew Hare wasn't going to knock Bellew out. And um, Hare's a better boxer, in my eyes. I, I, won, I won the bet as well. I put a bet on Bellew to win. I promise you I won the bet as well. And um, yeah, I was buzzing, but I never, ever win bets. Never, <laughs> never win bets. And now, uh, thanks, Tony, for that. <laughs> Not many people, as said, in boxing tip Tony Bellew to come through that fight. Regardless of injuries to David Hay or whatever the case may be, that's not Bellew's fault, is it, so to speak? No, definitely not. Um, yeah, but I loved it, that um, top win for Bellew, though, definitely. Yeah. 
Rumours are David Hay will be back hopefully by the end of the year. So who knows? Pen to paper, lads, if you're watching this. Me and Mark Heffron definitely want to see a rematch. Definitely, yeah. It'd be good to see the rematch, um, see what David Hay brings to this one. Because in that one, I think um, David Hay took it lightly. Took Bellew lightly. Um, didn't train proper for it. He must have trained probably, I don't know. Uh, he was away on holiday in that one. But, um, Bellew definitely took it serious, didn't he? Quite finally, when can the Eiffel TV Box Nation viewers see you back in action? Is there anything penciled in? Anything you can tell us at the moment, Mark? ASAP. Um, I'm ready to fight next week. Definitely. I'm ready. I'm fit. Ready for any fight now. Um, can't wait to be in the big fights, the 50 50 fights. You know what I mean? And looking forward to it. Congratulations on the win today, Mark. Thank you for talking to Eiffel TV. Great pleasure to get you on, mate. And we will catch you again real soon. Yeah, thank you very much.